Hi everyone, welcome to Huddle in Place with the Nine-Sided Circle number six. It's Tuesday, March 26th, yes, 26th of March. And I'm Nora Kyle, I'm in LA, and this is Mushtaq. He is in San Francisco area. And uh, here we are. Yes, A we couple are. weeks into isolation now. Yeah, the crazy times. Yep. Life goes on. And so, that, <laughs> yeah. what shall we talk about today? Well, today we wanted to talk about kindness because we know how important that is now to make sure that we're practicing kindness as a matter of practice right now. It's a yeah. big, important thing for us to practice right now because the way that we behave has a powerful effect on each of us all the time, but especially right now. So why don't we talk about that? And you can lead the way, Mushta. Okay, so kindness is the lubricant upon which civilization slides. How's that for a phrase? Sure. Yeah, without that, it's all scraping and being harsh and nasty. Yes, which is absolutely not what will get us through this difficult yeah. experience. And the more stressed we are, the more essential I believe it is to practice kindness both to ourselves and to others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen in the, the times when I've gone off to uh, have to make a store run to resupply, there are some people who are unkind to the people working in the store because they're angry, they're afraid, all of these things. And it just begins to create huge amounts of stress. And trust me, there's nothing like when you get up to that check stand and you smile at the, the checker and say something nice to them to Thank make them. their day yeah. better. Thanks for being here, even though it's dangerous for you and allowing me to buy food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's so sad thinking about how you know, these people are sacrificing their, potentially sacrificing their well-being for us, and they deserve so deeply to be recognized for that. So yep. for those out there, I just, you know, I want to say thank you right now, and we acknowledge. Uh, any of you are listening, we are really appreciative of the work you're doing, because yeah. otherwise I would have no fresh salad, and that would be <laughs> Right, so... With that said, kindness is critical and it's so easy to take out our anxieties and, you know, to take them out on other people, to channel them into anger and short temperedness, but this is not the time for that. Yep. And that brings us to another important thing. Are you huddled in place with somebody else? It's like for me, as you can see behind me, there is nothing. I am all alone here, which is being an introvert. This is this is kind of a nice thing. But I know a lot of you are living with somebody or have a roommate or something. And this is the time to consciously be really, really kind to the people you're stuck in the house with. If you yeah. don't, the stress levels will keep climbing, but just a little bit of kindness you know, make somebody a cup of tea, um, yeah. you know, go out and pick a flower and put it in a vase, anything that is a, a nice thing to do. You know, your roommates, your, your partners, whatever, uh, well enough that you can come up with a few ideas. And sometimes it's something small, like if you're already having a hard time, it's the little things that can be the door opener to allowing you know, more peaceful connection and more communication. Yeah. So the question, what can I do for the people in my life is a really good one. Yeah. And third, be kind to people that you interact with on the interwebs. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, this is not a time when you need to jump into your political shit and go raging at somebody who has a different belief than you do. I mean, yeah. yes, they may be totally wrong, 
live with it for a couple of weeks. You can go back to being mean to them later. Because the fact is, we think that our online actions are separate from whatever reality we live in offline. And they're not. They impact us emotionally the same way, those interactions. So the fact is, when we're able to give people the space to cool off, do whatever they need to do, you're not only making your life better because you're not just escalating a situation, but whatever situation they're in in their own home lives, you're improving that too, whether you believe that or not. So that's what we have today. The idea of kindness towards each other and kindness towards ourselves. Yeah. What have you done for yourself today that's really nice? I went out and sat in the sun today. Aww. And that was really nice. Yeah. Yep. And I had an incredibly illuminating conversation about the Mahabharata today with a friend who, who happens to be uh, Indian and something of a scholar on, on this particular book. And I learned things and it was very, very cool. Awesome. Yeah. So that's, what have you done, Noor? Today? I made myself a cup of tea. I took a bath and I read about bees, like the consciousness of bees and what that might be like. So that was really somehow very satisfying for me. Yep. And that made me happy. Yep. And that's as, as Sufi types, bees are incredibly important. <laughs> As you can see, I wore my beer, my be beer, my bee studs today in my ears because yeah. I just wanted to celebrate. Because bees. Yeah. So. All right. That's what I got. Yeah. All right. So that's it for today. We will be back tomorrow. And tomorrow we're going to be uh, doing something a, a little bit different and hopefully a lot of fun for you. So I hope that you will be able to tune in tomorrow and uh, we will see you then. Yeah, take Bye. care of yourselves, stay well.